Conditional blocks in scratch. Shapes of blocks in scratch. In scratch, there are nine types of blocks. The blocks have different shapes. They can be divided into six different shapes, hat blocks. Hat blocks are shaped like hats. These blocks have to be added before any other block. Since these blocks are at the top, no other block can be placed above them. Stack blocks Stack blocks are the most commonly used blocks in Scratch. These blocks perform most of the actions in Scratch. We use them for the main commands. These blocks have a ball shape cut on top of them. The shape of this block makes it easier to add, stack, more blocks above or below them. Boolean blocks Boolean blocks are conditional blocks that present an output as true, false, or zero by one according to how they have been used in the script. Reporter blocks Reporter blocks are used to report a value. These cannot be used independently as they provide information for other blocks. It can consist of numbers or strings. These blocks have rounded edges. C blocks C blocks are C-shaped blocks. These blocks are also known as wrap blocks. These are looping blocks which are used to check whether the condition is true for the blocks which are added within the loop. We can find C blocks in the control blocks category in Scratch. Cap blocks We use cap blocks to end a script. These blocks have a notch on top of them, but they have a flat bottom. These are the last blocks. No blocks can be added after cap blocks. These blocks can be found in the control blocks category. Sensing blocks Sensing blocks in Scratch sense the input from the keyboard or the mouse pointer when the script is running. Let us learn about some of the sensing blocks. Block tells the users to type their name on the keyboard. It waits for the user to provide the input. Block executes the next blocks in the script only if the sprite touches the mouse pointer, another sprite or the edge. If this condition is not true then the next blocks will not be executed. Block executes the set of next set of blocks only if the sprite touches the color specified in this block. Otherwise, it will execute different set of blocks. Block executes the next set of blocks only if the first chosen color touches the second chosen color. Otherwise, it will execute a different set of blocks. Block executes the next set of blocks only if the specified key is pressed by the user. Otherwise, it will execute different set of blocks. Sensing an input Follow these steps to add sensing blocks to a script. Step 1. Click on the sensing block category in code tab. Step 2. Insert a sprite on the stage. We have added elephant. Delete the default cat sprite. Step 3. Add a new backdrop to the stage. We have added forest. Step 4. Drag the ask block to the script area and click on it. A speech bubble will appear on the elephant with the text, What is your name? A text box box will appear on the stage area with a blinking cursor. You can type your name in the box and click on the tick button or press the enter key. Step 5. To display the typed name in the stage, click on the checkbox before the block from sensing blocks category. The answer will appear on the stage. Step 6. Place the block in the say block to display the typed name through the elephant in the stage area. We can change the question in the ask block to any other question. We can do so by clicking on the text box. Variables A set of commands or instructions that result in an output by the computer is known as a program. 
We call this program a script in Scratch. A script is made up of blocks. These blocks are the commands or instructions for the sprite in Scratch. The numbers, text, or pictures that we use in a program is called data. We can store this data in a computer's memory so that we can use that information later. This data is stored as variables. It is called a variable because its value can vary. It is not a fixed value. Example, in the motion block, the value of is 15 by default, but we can change this value to any other value according to our script. Types of variables Variables can store numbers as well as text. A numeric variable is a variable that stores numbers. These numbers are used for calculations. x9, 60, 200, 98, 76, etc. String variable is a variable that stores letters in the form of strings. We can store letters, words, names, sentence and even numbers in a string variable. These variables are not used in calculations. X Karan, I live in Delhi, 3456, etc. Creating variables in Scratch Follow these steps to create variables in Scratch. Step 1. Click on the Variables block category. A set of blocks will appear in the block palette. Step 2. Click on Make a Variable block. A new variable dialog box will appear. Type a variable name in the new variable name text box. Step 3. Click on For All Sprites option if you want this variable to appear for all the sprites. You can also click on For This Sprite Only option if you want the variable to appear only for the current sprite. We have added the color variable here. Step 4. Click on the OK button. Now you can create the following script. The sprite will ask you to type the name of your favorite color. When you click on the tick symbol, the name of the color will appear in the speech bubble next to the elephant. It will also appear in the answer on the stage area. Since the name of the color is a word, it will be saved as a string variable. If we saved numbers in the variable, for example, 1234 then it would have been called numeric variable. Conditional blocks Whenever we have to perform a task, we have to be dependent on some conditions. For example, you have to create a program in Scratch but your laptop is not charged. There are two conditions. You will look for the charger. If you can find the charger, then you can charge the laptop and create your program. If you cannot find the charger, then you will not be able to charge the laptop or else you can wait for an elder to find it. We can also write it in this way. 1. If charger is found then laptop is charged, can create project. 2. If charger is not found then laptop is not charged, cannot create project, else wait for an elder. For situations like these, we use the conditional blocks. There are two conditional blocks in Scratch. 1. If, then block, if the condition is true then blocks inside the conditional block will be executed. If the condition is false, then the blocks inside the conditional blocks will not be executed. Only the blocks that are outside the conditional block will run. 2. If, then, else block, if the condition is true, then the blocks inside the conditional block will be executed. If the condition is false, then the set of blocks inside the else condition will be executed. We can also use forever and repeat blocks with these conditional blocks. Let's make a script with the sprite as shark2 and the backdrop as underwater1. Create the following script on scratch. While choosing the touching color, use the color picker to pick the exact color from the stage area. It will make sure that the shark will change its size and color according to the code. Creating a game Let us create a game 
Set the backdrop as stars and the sprite as earth. Now make the following script. When you run the program and hover the mouse pointer over the earth, it will start spinning.